Alright guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome to Space Engine. This is version 0.9.9, .9, which features some rather stunning new content and fixes. One of the things I wanted to show off in this video are the new nebula, which as you can see right here are pretty nice. Now, update 0.9.9 .9 isn't available currently for public release, and unfortunately there still isn't a release date for that. But the previous version, 9.8, is available, and you can find a link to that in the video description. So Space Engine has been worked on in one form or another all the way since 2005, and it's had nebula in it for a very long time now. Many of the familiar nebula, such as Barnard's Loop, Horsehead Nebula, and even the Pillars of Creation, are among the nebula that are in the previous iterations of Space Engine, and of course they're also in 9.9, .9, and they all look pretty great, but now the latest version of the software is experimenting with volumetric based nebula, and it really does take things to a whole new level. Currently, none of the real world nebula have been updated with the new technology, so I can't show you any of those. The only ones in software using the new tech are a bunch of test nebula, and all of these use various effects and forms and shapes and colorations. All of them come with huge color variation, and among some of them, it is indeed possible to find star systems and planets, which allow for some great scenery. Now, due to the velocity that Space Engine allows you to travel at, you can seamlessly move throughout the nebula, as you can see me doing right here. It's a truly stunning experience, although I will admit that at these speeds, it really is hard to get a grasp of the sense of scale here. Most of these nebula are actually hundreds of light years across. Yes, we really are moving that fast. It's only when you're near planets or on their surfaces that you can genuinely appreciate the size of the nebula, and you'll see a few of those examples further into the video. Although that said, currently there's not many star systems located right inside these nebula, or at least not that I've been able to find. Fortunately though, many of them do actually have planetary nebulas in pretty close proximity. And this really does come into its own when using the time acceleration feature, Due to the fact that Space Engine uses full orbital mechanics, it means that accelerating time gives you some very easy to achieve time lapses, which of course are no less impressive for their ability to be quickly captured. Now all of the footage in this video was captured in the HDR visual mode, which actually allows for us to see both dark and light areas in equal exposure. There are of course other lighting modes though, and these and many of the other features are something I'm going to be taking a closer look at in future videos. And of course, if there's anything specific you would like me to take a look at, then do let me know in the comments, and I'll make sure to cover it. What I'm going to do now, though, is let you all alone, and enjoy the rest of the visuals on show here. <laughs> 